Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycle, and today we're going to show you how to install foot pegs on a Milwaukee 8 Softail. This is our Lowrider S uh, 2020 project bike, and in the past, foot peg installation has been very straightforward. It's pretty straightforward on this tube, but it is different than what it used to be. And today we're going to be installing a set of Biltwell's Punisher pegs on our bike here. The first thing you're going to notice is the clevis has this big open area in it. And in the past, this is an old Dynamount with another Biltwell foot peg here. And you can see the clevis is the solid style clevis, and they use that flat D-shaped washer in here. Well, no longer is there a D-shaped washer, and you can see this is wider, and it has a slot in it. And what that slot is for is these foot pegs now are spring-loaded. They don't have the D-washer anymore, they actually have a spring in there. And so that spring sits in here, and we're gonna need to reuse this spring and this, uh, this pin here and this clip. The installation is very easy, it's just different than it's been in the past. So the first thing we're gonna do is you can take a set of snap ring pliers, or I'm gonna use a little flat blade screwdriver. We're gonna pop this snap ring off of the pin right here. So I'm gonna reach back behind there on this peg, I'm gonna slide this in here and pop this off. And when we take this out, this pin's gonna come out, and this spring is actually in the peg in a hole and in the mount in a hole. When it comes off, just make sure you grab a hold of it, don't go scooting across the shop, and then we'll show you how to put it back on. So that spring is in a hole in the mount and a hole in the peg. So hold the peg steady. It's gonna be some pressure on the, on the pin. We're just gonna pull it loose and you'll see the tension kind of come off that spring. And you go to put it back in, this long end goes into the mount and the short end goes into the peg. I'm gonna take this peg off and just deal with the mount because I'm gonna wanna put some Loctite on this when we put it on there permanent. But the insulation for all the Milwaukee 8 style pegs should be the same as this. So if you look down in here, you can see a little hole. The short arm of this spring is gonna go in that hole and the rounded edge of this, of this clevis goes up so the thing can rotate up and down like that. So this flat side goes down. So we're gonna put the short arm of the spring in there. And then I'm gonna put the long arm of the spring in the hole on the mount. So this is where it's gonna have tension on it. So as we turn it over, it has tension on it. And we're just gonna line up the hole and slide the pin back through there. So now that we have that pin on there, we can take our snap ring, take a pair of pliers, snap it back on there. So the clevis is on. Now we just have to put our peg on here and orientate it to the direction we want. I like to use a little bit of blue Loctite on here. This is a quarter inch Allen. Thread this through here. Make the final adjustment on the peg if you want it rocked back a little bit or sitting flat. I like it sitting flat. So I got it started, I'll crank it now with the long end of the Allen. Just like that, we have brand new pegs on our Milwaukee 8 Softail. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, drop a comment in the comment section and go work on those motorcycles.